John for JohnsMeat.com. I'm at Wizard World and I found Brimstone. What's going on, people? How you doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing great. You having a good time already? I'm hanging with Brimstone. How could I not? Uh, see, he's a smart guy. You're on my good side. I'm I like trying, him. man. I gotta say it. So, we write for a lot of wrestling fans. You're a wrestler. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Wow. Well, I'm semi-retired now. I've been around for a very long time. Uh, wow. About 16 years doing the Brimstone thing. Um, now, I just don't have the time to be in the ring anymore. Um, we've expanded to Hound Comics, uh, Hound Entertainment Group. So what we're doing is we have our comic book that's with uh, Brimstone of the Border Hounds based on the pro wrestling persona. So if you are a fan, you can definitely check out the comic, but it doesn't have anything to do with the wrestling. It's actually uh, Brimstone and his crew of Border Hounds or Hell's version of the Border Patrol. They're not meant to keep people out, they're meant to keep people in. Anyway, you can check that out at HoundComics.com. Um, as far as wrestling is concerned, you know, 16 years of wrestling, you know, there's a lot on the body, there's a lot of traveling, and here I am traveling again, so I'm kind of contradicting myself, but, you know, traveling, being, being in the ring for, for a very long time, I mean, it, it hurts, so I had to move on to something that was going to continue to brand and continue to be Brimstone, but, you know, not kill me. And how long have you been doing that? Um, Hound Comics, we're going on three years in business, um, we're the only, like I said, uh, the only independently owned and operated comic sold in every Barnes & Noble and Beat Alton in the country, we're sold nationally and internationally, um, we have our backpacks, Brimstone on the Board about Hound Brimstone on the Border Hound backpacks in with eSport. They'll be in Walmart, Walmart.com for the holidays. Um, we also have uh, deals right now for Brimstone Cologne that's coming out. Um, you can smell good. Huh? Always want to smell good. <laughs> we have our kids' books. We have um, we call our sauces, seasonings, salsa. We do food reviews across the country called Food Hound Tidbits. So you know, Brim's not gone. Brim's still here. You can yeah, still you check can me out. Yeah, everything, man. Yeah, yeah. And that's just a tip. Just a tip. All right, but I gotta ask you. Just back to wrestling for yeah. one minute. Okay, of course. Your dream match. You get one match. Any opponent, living or dead. Who do you want? <sighs> I don't say Trish Stratus because we Is all want a, that. No, I, <laughs> that's messed up. Um, you know what? I never got to work with Taker. So I'd love to do Taker vs. Brimstone match. I'd get my ass handed to me and I'd gladly take that beating. Now, okay, you were a wrestler, you're so retired. How do you go for, like, why, how come the comic isn't about wrestling? How did you decide that? Vince McMahon already does that. He already does that. We didn't need to do that. The character is bigger than just, you know, wrestling. The character does like pro wrestling, so we do throw things like that in. Uh, we got guys like Jimmy Snuka and Brutus Beefcake and, you know, Tito Santana, friends of mine. Oh, okay. that, you know, are involved here and there, and we are planning cameos. Low-key, you know Low-key? Yeah. Um, what do you call Senshi, you know, Cabal, however you know him. Uh, he's actually an Easter egg in issue six, so you can actually find him in the, uh, in the book. Um, Jimmy, we have a picture of him holding issue one um, in, uh, I think, issue two or three. So, you know, the guys are still involved, and um, it's just wrestling in general. They've done it. You know what I mean? You've got headlocked. You've got headlocked out there. Um, you've got a bunch of other, like all the Vince's stuff. I mean, he kind of edges that line. We wanted to be different. We had a story because I come from the world of gimmicks. So back when, when we had real gimmicks, and you know, there was everybody was larger than life. Right. Okay, you had Boogeyman, you had Goldust, you had uh, going further back, you had Junkyard Dog and the Honky Tonk Man, and you know, all the different characters that really had a backstory and so forth. You knew who they were. Well, we knew who Brimstone was. We took that and turned it into a comic. Just, it just made more sense than to say, "Hey, let's go in the ring." And just no, work. I love it, man. I, I would, to be honest, I've been chasing you for the last three or four conventions. I finally found ah, you. Awesome. So I found you. But where could the people find you on the web to learn more about Brimstone? Because this guy is cool and he's interesting. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, you check out my official website is www.entrancetohell.com. Uh, you can also go to our official Hound website, HoundComics.com. Houndentertainment.com, foodhoundtidbits.com. If you like to eat like old Brim, you know, you, you go down there, check that out. And, uh, you know, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You're, you're all over, man. <laughs> all right, buddy, thanks for your time. We Thank appreciate you so much. it. Great to meet you. So I talk too much, I know. I never shut up. Neither do I. <laughs> thanks again.